Today we're going to take a look at a very common reporting challenge that I get asked about all the time within ServiceNow, aging reports. This is when you want to take a look at something like incidents or assets and group them based on how old they are, you know, whether it's how long an incident has been open in a queue or how old an asset is, um, you know, being able to, to sort and understand that information uh, that way. So for this example, I'm going to use incident aging. That's the one I see most commonly. We want to take a look at the open incidents in our in our queue and see you know how long they've been sitting there. This is something that's very difficult to do without it going into advanced customization or scripting within ServiceNow. So we're going to use Explore Analytics cloud-based integrated reporting engine to build this view. This is something that any user can do without administrator roles or making changes to ServiceNow. So here we are in the Explore Analytics interface, and I'm going to create a new view on the incident table. So data source is my service now, and uh, I'm going to use the incident table. For this, I'm going to look at it from a pivot perspective, but I could look at it as a chart as well, which I'll show in a few moments. But we'll call this incident aging overview. Right now, this is showing me a very simple view of how many incidents there are in the system right now. I'd like to actually see just the open incidents, so I'm going to filter down and say filter where active is true. I can filter on any field, but just active is true. So now we're looking only at the open incidents. And now I want to actually do the aging. I want to break it down by how old are these incidents in these you know, 6,000 incidents that we currently have. So for that, I'm going to find the created, that's the date time field that tells us when this was open. I'm going to put it into the columns. This allows me to break it down based on that created date. And what I'm going to do is select group into bins. That allows us to arbitrarily create these ranges to group the incidents into. And we're going to use uh, create treat date as age. That's going to automatically convert that date time into a duration, so how long it's been since it's been created. And I'm going to manually define the bins into some ranges that make sense to me. So for instance, from 0 to 1 days. So um, from 1 to 3 days. From 3 to 5 days. And 5 or more days. By leaving that, uh, that last two column blank, we're letting it be open-ended on that side. If I wanted more ranges, I can click Add Bin as many times as I want. For right now, we're just going to keep these four ranges, less than a day, one to three days, uh, etc. And as soon as I click OK, we have that data at our fingertips. So behind the scenes, Explore Analytics is querying out to ServiceNow and bringing back the results without copying any data or manipulating it anyway, just presenting this data. So I can see how many are less than a day, how many are more than five days, etc. Now, from here, let's say I wanted to further slice and dice this. So let's say I wanted to break this further by assignment group. I can grab assignment group and put that in the, um, the rows. So now I can see each row is going to say for the database team, here's less than a day, here's one to three days, here's three to five days, etc. I could break it down even further to say now show that to me by uh, the category. Uh, and you'll see that, you know, again, we're further breaking this down just by dragging and dropping this. Uh, this is a lot of information, so I'm just going to stick with the assignment group based on those age ranges. Now, I can also view this as a chart, so when I click chart, it shows me the same from a visualiz visualized perspective. So let's make this a horizontal one. Let's actually stack those. Let's put the breakdown of the values directly onto the chart. So you can see that it's the same information, but very easy, easy for me to uh, visualize in this perspective. And now from here, if I want this to be on my ServiceNow dashboard, I can do that immediately just by going to click Publish. So now it's called Incident Aging Overview. It's live. It leverages the user's roles and login to, to manage permissions. And I'm publishing it to ServiceNow. I have some options on how it'll look when it's published. And as soon as I click Finish, I can now go to my other tab to ServiceNow. 
This is my dashboard. I can add any of the content that's available for, that I've published to ServiceNow from Explore Analytics. So if I go to Explore Analytics and I look at uh, Incident Aging Overview, I have this report that we just ran. I put it on the dashboard where I want. And now you can see I have that same interactive report. I have the capability to drill down. So if I want to see you know, just what these one to three incidents were, I go to View Details. Here's the list and I can open up any of those records in a new tab uh, straight from there. So you see that it's still interactive, it's still live and refreshing, but it has those incident aging ranges uh, that we were looking at. So if I wanted to see just the ones that are less than a day, uh, or if I wanted to see just the ones that are over five days, that's very easy for me to do straight from here. And again, as we mentioned, this was an example for incident aging, but this could be done anywhere. So for example, within my asset management dashboards, one of the columns here is showing me what the average age of any of my uh, assets are. So anywhere that you have a date timestamp and you want to represent that as an aging report, it's very easy to do using the steps we just covered. Hopefully that's uh, helpful to you as you're going and making reports for your management or for your team or whoever consumes this. Um, thanks for watching and if there's other reporting challenges let us know and we'll put together a video on it.